quick one. This is about 90 minutes long. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I don't know, I think that's for you to tell. I think that's for the audience to say what it is. Because it's about how we connect to each other and how, not only how we connect to each other, but how easy it is to miss each other. And the great irony is, is that, I, I believe this is this theory that started at Yale, this great man, Stanley Milgram. Um, you know, there were, there's just six degrees. You, you can get through anybody through a series of six people. But what about all the people we can find? The people who, through race and poverty, vanish. And that's what the play is about. I think it's about how the maddening thing about life is how we connect. But if it's that easy to connect, how do we connect? Mm -hmm. um, so I, that's one of the things the play could be about. I look at every time I, you know, I see it, I think it's about something else. And, it's, and the, I, the audience will tell me what they think it's about. And I'll say, really? That's what it's about? So uh, the play acts as some sort of Rorschach test. What inspired me to write the play? I have no idea what inspired me. The play, nothing inspired me to write the play. It had been a story that friends had told me about six years before, uh, 1983, when I was in London, and they said, do we have a story for you? And uh, they couldn't figure out what had happened to them. They were in the middle of this event that just happened to them, this young man had come to their house. And, uh, and then about three months later, I was back in America, and I saw the post to destroy the arrest of this guy. He'd done it to a lot of other people. It was just sort of fascinating. I never thought about it. And then about six years later, I was writing a play, and I realized that unbeknownst to myself, I had been working on this play inside my head, out of my uh, conscious life for about six years. And uh, I wrote the play. So nothing inspired the play. The play just took on its own life. Well, what always has excited me about coming to Williamstown, this is my fifth time, my fifth play I've had done at Williamstown. I first came here in 1974 with a play called Rich and Famous with Ron Lehman and Linda Lavin. And, uh, oh, we had such a great time. I'd gone to Yale Drama School. So playwrights never came to Williamstown as place where actors and directors went. So I was always glad suddenly when I was a playwright accepted here. And then I've worked, as, as I said, this is the fifth play I've done here. And I love the atmosphere in Williamstown. And I remember one night, when I was about nine or ten, ten years ago, and it was, I was coming home from some party, something about one o'clock, and I heard somebody yelling up at the window, would you come down, it was about one o'clock, and I said, would you come down, we're trying to start Midsummer Night's Dream rehearsals. I love the activity that goes around in 24 hours a day. And uh, uh, it's a thrilling place to be. And... Uh, so that's, I, uh, I, I love the vigor and vitality and intelligence at Williamstown. <laughs>